This is Ozzy from Versus.com and today's lesson is on how 360 cameras work. They have two lenses, each with a 180 degree point of view, which are then combined in post-processing to form a footage with a 360 degree point of view. You can do anything you want with this footage, from zooming in, zooming out, tilting, panning, or even taking a ride on top of the world. This footage was brought to you by the 1 inch 360 of the Insta360 and the Theta Ricoh Z1. We'll be comparing both cams to see which one is better in certain situations. Let the facts speak. By the way guys, we finally reached 100k subs and I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you for allowing us to be where we are today. We hope we're able to keep creating quality content that you deserve, so make sure to like and subscribe as always so we can go full speed ahead. So as I mentioned in the intro, on the left we have the Insta360 ONE RS 1 inch 360 which is co-engineered with Leica and is showing us 6K footage with 30fps. On the right is the Ricoh Theta Z1 and the footage was shot in 4K 30fps. Oh and before I go on, the 1 inch in the name comes from the two 1 inch CMOS sensors in the cameras which on paper are huge upgrades and result in increased image quality along with outstanding dynamic range. You and I will see these improvements for ourselves which straight off the bat is kinda exactly what we're doing. The visuals are overall brighter on the left side but also thanks to the sensor is much more detailed with accurate color reproduction. Insta360 really looks to have figured something out as everything in the frame from the trees to the lines on the ground are much more pleasing to look at. I'll be very honest and say that every single detail I can think of, ranging from contrast and sharpness to saturation and white balance, are better optimized on the 1 inch 360. I think it's a given that Insta360 will take the video quality section as their device just does everything better. It's an important question if the software is also a step ahead when the topic is popular action cam features. Everyone interested in these gadgets will for sure enjoy the time lapse mode. The most basic way to explain this would be that the device takes photos at certain intervals and then combines them together to make a video. It's good in circumstances where you want to record long footage, but a regular video would make the file too big. The quality difference is apparent and there's quite a bit of detail lost on the Theta Z1 and the resolution doesn't look the best either compared to the 1 inch 360. Next up is a time shift mode on the One RS 1 inch 360. This is a stabilized video that is sped up during post processing, enabling you to create cool footage while also also giving you different options for editing later on. Insta360 is putting up a good performance as I expected and you should also be able to see with your own eyes just how stable the footage is. The Theta Z1 doesn't have this mode, so if you were to try to replicate this footage with time lapse, this is a result you would get. It's definitely not usable because time lapse is just a bunch of photos put together, so obviously the footage at the end isn't stabilized like the time warp mode of Insta360. Now it's time for one of my favorites, stabilization. This is for sure what I'd be checking out if I were to get an action cam because I like to ride scooters and bikes through forests and it can get quite bumpy. I really like the stabilization quality of the Insta360's device. It kind of reminds me of the performance of the S22 or even the Pixel 6 series, though the footage could be slightly brighter here. Nothing to complain about though as the Theta Z1 stabilization is also decent but just not on the same standard. The slight jitters don't do wonders for the quality and it's just too easy to spot when you're using this mode for the specific purpose of keeping the frame still. You might remember from our previous action cam comparisons where I have said that your mobile phone might not always be available to snap some footage. In this case, the 1 inch 360 is once again putting up a better performance as there is much more detail in the photos and it also seems like the image stabilization is better because there's less blur around the objects in the frame. We also took a couple of HDR photos for you to be able to see the differences and it further solidifies the quality gap between the two when taking photos. Colors are livelier, the scene is brighter, and the sky is definitely looking more appealing. So this obviously might differ from person to person because I like to have some good and clear audio quality on my action cam. A lot of people do some tricks, some stunts, make a video, and then they put some music in the background. But for me, very good and clear mic quality is quite important. So over here is the Theta Ricoh Z1, as you've already known, and over here is the Insta360. The only issue I have with Insta360 devices is the audio, and I would really like to see them improve the quality of their microphones. We saw a similar result in a GoPro comparison, where the audio quality was also okay, but not really on the level that I would expect in a high quality device such as this. Still though, it's a minor setback and the performance of the 1 inch 360 overall has been really good and a point that I would like to make is, you're able to use an external microphone with a USB-C port by plugging it into the device which at least gives you a solution. You can also connect AirPods and other Bluetooth microphones. 
With that out of the way, we'll bring everything to a close with night footage. You might not always be shooting your footage in daylight, and you might even live somewhere where it's not that sunny, which also plays into how well a camera can shoot footage in low light conditions. I'm not surprised that the 1 inch 360 easily overtakes the Theta Z1 here, as once again, in our previous comparison, we saw how Insta360 devices excel in these darker conditions and also show a better performance than GoPro cameras, especially when it comes to controlling the noise. It's gonna be an easy decision for me, which will also bring this head to head comparison comparison to an end, but not before we take a look at the special features of this device along with some details that should be important to you. Regarding the price, the 1 inch 360 is $800 while the Z1 is $1050, and at $250 in between is a 31% price difference. Next up is the modular design of the 1 inch 360, which means users can change the lens based on their shooting requirements, 4K and 1 inch wide angle, or a more compact 360 lens. You can also upgrade individual parts of the system such as the lens, core, or battery in the future, which you can't do on the Theta Z1. The app is also one of the main selling points of Insta360 device as they offer a ton of editing features based on AI and is constantly updated with new modes, effects, and templates. You can use this app to edit your videos both on your mobile phone and your PC and even though the Theta Z1 has a similar app, it's just not as practical to use. About the build of these devices, the 1 inch 360 has an IPX3 resistance rating which means that it can handle splashes of water from an accident and it should also be fine if you get caught up in the rain. It has a removable battery which is a pretty big point because you can take a backup with you while the Z1 has a built in battery design meaning you'll have to charge it if it runs out of juice. The storage supports a micro SD card up to 1 terabytes, which is also a big selling point while the Z1 only has a 19 or 51 gigabyte internal storage. Another important detail is that the 1 inch 360 has a built in touch screen which allows you to preview the footage while also easily changing the settings and the modes. The Z1 has a small screen with a few settings that you can't see the footage on and you have to manually change these settings with physical buttons on the side. Well guys, that was another great action cam comparison and I hope all of you enjoyed it. Leave a comment telling us your very important thoughts as well as liking this video and subscribing to our channel to help the Versus family grow. Keep in touch.